Oh my God. Finally, people are coming together to talk about how we can solve the problem of bullying. Unless you've been under a rock for the last week, I know you heard about the bullying incident where 13-year-old Naylan Naden, sorry, Naden Curry, was attacked by a group of teenagers, beat up, and hung by his jacket on a steel fence. Horrible. And supposedly they bullied him because he happened to be the smallest boy in the class, one of the smallest boys, and that his mother is from Africa. I tell you, these bullies will find any reason to pick on somebody. But bullying's been going on forever. Forever. Back in the day, the jerks got away with it because a lot of times it was your word against theirs. Now, in today's technological world, the jerks are filming it and then posting it on YouTube. Yay! We have proof now. Props goes out to The View. They did a coverage on the incident on last Thursday. And, you know, um, Naden was saying how he was terrified and, you know, screaming for someone to help him. And that actually a few people had walked by and, and didn't do anything. Well, finally someone did come to his rescue, uh, a lady who had walked by. She said that she thought they were playing and then she realized they weren't. So she helped him off of the fence. But, I mean, it's just a terrible thing. I mean, he said from September to now he had been going through this problem. And it was like the teachers basically turned their heads to it. And then his mom was on the show and she had commented how um, she had gone up to the school and spoke with the principal about some other incidences that had happened. And the principal told her that he couldn't ensure uh, her son's safety, that maybe she might want to keep him home for a day or two. Wow, imagine that, that your principal, the principal of your son's school tells you, oh, well, don't bring your son to school. Hmm. You know, as I stated before, bullying has been going on forever. Um, my mom and my cousin Diane, they were bullied for being mixed race. And then I got a double dose of it. I was not only bullied for being mixed race, but I was especially bullied for being an effeminate boy. I mean, they were relentless, relentless. From age four, they were calling me faggot. And when I think back to those days, I don't even know how I got through it. I mean, like with Naden, um, the teachers turn, seemed to turn their heads to it. A lot of my teachers. And I almost felt like they thought I should be roughed up a little bit. Maybe it would toughen me up. <laughs> it toughened me up, all right. Look at me. Um, but I know that only the grace of God got me through. I remember being attacked by some guys at Broad and Olney in Philadelphia. Broad and Olney is a very busy area in the city of Philly. It's where a number of bus routes uh, connect with the subway. So there's lots of people. And I was actually pulled off the SEPTA bus. SEPTA is our public transportation. And beat up by a group of guys while about 75 people stood and watched and did nothing. And actually some of them thought it was funny. I was so devastated by that. I mean, first of all, I was so embarrassed. And then secondly, I couldn't understand why or how a group of human beings could do that to a human being, another human being. And I mean, I didn't do anything to them. They just targeted me. To make things worse, later that week, my best friend, one of my best friends, Brian, told me that he saw a girl from the school, from our school, that happened to be on the bus when this happened. And she told him that she asked one of the guys, well, why did you do that to him? And the guy responded, because that's a faggot, and faggots spread AIDS, and he deserved what he got. Horrible. I tell you, again, I don't know how I got through those days, but 
you have to wonder why kids go on shooting sprees, people. Now, I'm not saying that's the answer. But what I'm saying is sometimes it gets so bad that the person feels like they're going to lose it. And I'm actually shocked that I didn't, but thank God I didn't. Something has to be done about the bullying. I mean, it's been going on for a very long time, and it's going to get worse if we, as a society, don't come together and try and do something to stop it. I'm here, and whether you all like it or not, I survived it. I declare that it gets better, and all those experiences I went through, they did make me stronger. Until next time, love, peace, and blessings.